and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play European Vesalius 4 with the 1.34 Sweden patch and the Lions of the North DLC. We're still figuring out where to attack next. I want to go against the Germans, German states, before Poland. We have nine years until Poland, until the truce runs out. We allied Naples. Uh, we are building all the ships that, uh, yeah, filling up the slots there. And I'm also building armies. So let's continue with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's go. Template Royal Army. I don't think I want more than 30,000 in... Uh, maybe sh I should go 40,000. I'm also thinking about that. 40,000 40, troops. Let's check, check the uh, main... 40, 40, 50, 50. The supply is over 40 everywhere. But these are the German states, so that's no... Nothing weird about that. Out here. Yeah, that's the case. So, let's fill up the existing armies. Uh, up to 40. We will also change that template. Can I do that? Uh, delete the template, yes. And create a new template. Uh, so let's go with... We can go with 20 infantry. And we can go with... Uh, how many was it here? Uh, damn it, I forgot. 6-6, six, six, yes. So six and six. We're missing eight. That means we're going at least up to ten artillery. Uh, I, I even want twelve artillery. And eight cavalry, right? Let's name this our artillery. Create a new template. Yeah, in that case we can have like 8 artillery, 6 there, and 22, 24 maybe even. 26. Royal Army. Or should I go with just one? That's the question here. Because it will be very hard to see them on the field who they are anyway. I need to select every every single one of them to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Royal Army Artillery. So that means we need at least two. Let's fill them up to start with here. Let's see. What the fuck is going on? Ah, building ships, right. Um, do that. It's very hard to see where they are, actually. That was annoying. So, Nerki Dollar School, okay. Two. Two, two, I think that's it. 
Let's get him up. I'm still I, I'm still thinking of how if I should have that template uh, artillery 12 artillery 12 template yeah I think so yeah let's only have the artillery template Or let's do... yeah, let, let's... Ah, fuck. Royal Army Standard, let's go with... Um, 24 Infantry, 6 Cavalry, uh, 8 inf 8 Artillery, maybe even 10. We don't need to have that much of a difference. But let's save it as a standard as well, there we go. That will do fine. Um, yeah, we can place, let's see, uh, should we go artillery with every single one then? We we don't need to do that, so go half, add two, two cavalry on half of the armies. So here, here, Like that, right? How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven armies. Yeah, that will be enough. And when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to artillery, we need at least let's see a lot more. <laughs> so merge these guys. This will scare the shit out of my enemies when I have my full armies in uh, motion. Scientific Revolution halts, okay. Uh, what we can do here is to um, get our navy towards the English Channel. Moral prices. Uh, we must pay to distribute be a bread. Yeah, I will be um, good to my people. Distribute bread to the people. Get over here. Uh, let's add artillery. So that means uh, at least 10 or... no, 4 or uh, 6. So half of them will be 4, half will be 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go with that for now. We need to see how expensive this will be as well. Uh, and we are getting close to the 446 mark which will increase over time constantly uh, let's move all of these ships down to the English Channel trade here Any more ships on the way? I do not think so. No. Just armies. There we go. So that's 36 ships. Plus this one. 37 and 38 ships. 38 light ships. Nice. Uh, that means you're going to merge with the traders in the English Channel here. Yes. Boom, boom. Oh, they're repairing themselves. Okay. Yeah, merch trade in the English Channel. Where are these guys trading? That's the North Sea, right? Yeah. So North Sea, we are completely dominating. <laughs> yes. We can actually put some of them in the English Channel. Now we're making a difference here. We have a we have a merchant there, nice. In total, six merchants, they're all in use. Right, wait to, until the merge before we... We need to train all of that first. A lot of artillery on the way. Feels much better to have 40 sized armies. I, I'm noticing the AI always has a somewhat of a 40 army size. During this time in the game. This the late the late game. Yeah, even in mid-game actually. Dissenting academics, let them teach as they please. Uh, religion religious unity. Yeah, lose no. I'm not. Now we're going innovativeness. Sweden is the main innovative nation when it comes to this era, um, and it just increases. And when they reach Victorian age, uh, Sweden is one of the strongest nations in the world when it comes to education and research. In the beginning of Victoria. So that I want to honor. Yeah, we should level up administration. So we've got a new idea group we can choose from here. Quantity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the national manpower increases by 25%. Manpower recovery speed. Uh, no, that is the one we have. I'm stupid. Uh, let's see here. Freeze. These are the ones we have. Fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Just had it in my mind there. I don't I have that? So let's see, we have a lot of military stuff, and that we should because we are very imperialistic. Humanist ideas I don't fucking care about because we are very we're more like this, religious ideas, uh, moralistic, where Protestantism is the only religion, nothing else. So maybe we should go for religious ideas, because we have not that much administrative ideas as the others here. 
Espionage, no. Diplomatic ideas, no. Exploration ideas, no. Influence, uh, no. Because it's a lot of vassal and diplomatic annexations. No. It's definitely not a diplomatic idea. Uh, aristocratic ideas, that's a lot of cavalry, no. Defensive ideas, naval ideas. It's defensive if we want somebody here. There's something here. Religious ideas, yeah, I want to spread Protestantism. We, we Religious unity is pretty low. Because I'm conquering so fast. So religious unity is 53. <laughs> so only half of my empire is Protestant right now. So yeah, the thing is religious ideas. So that means we get more missionaries. Stability cost modifiers, missionary strength. They convert faster. Uh, church power. Yeah, tolerance of the true faith. Uh, yearly prestige, yeah, so religious ideas is the thing we go for here. We could have gone innovativeness, maybe because of the reason. Yeah, we have innovative ideas and we maxed it out, so I don't. How could I forget about that? Yeah, it feels like a long time ago I uh, took those ideas and probably was as well. Uh, yeah, we have almost trained all units here. We're not waging any wars until my armies are full-sized. Manpower also needs to grow a little bit more. Maybe not against the German... Yeah, it, it needs to. Uh, four times this. Yeah. It will take some time. We have 3,000. Build a cathedral in Reval, Ostjylland. We need to spread our religion. Uh, manpower. Helsingland maybe, Vesterbotten. Stock exchange in Holstein. Miemel, that will be it for now. We're building ar the artillery in the same provinces as well, that's why it's taking so long, but it's much easier to merge and know where they are supposed to go, so that's why I'm doing it. How is France feeling about me? They are positive slightly. Naples is good. Can we increase this? No. And the Ottomans, they, they love me. Bohemia, just slightly positive. But they know they have no choice, as I said before. How many troops do we get each month? We get 3,000 men into the manpower pool for each month. That's a lot. Crimea is threatening our trade. They are pissed. Pontic step. We're entering the year 1737. We must not let the Ottomans go for Poland here. The ideas of Thomas Gilden Love. 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 Hmm. You know, philosopher of the University of Postman, okay? Tolerate him. Revolutionary ideas will spread. Unfortunately, it seems that his work is both persuasive and very popular among the intelligentsia who are taking to quoting certain key passages of whenever... Yeah, these are the liberals. 
They're spreading liberal ideas here. I'm... What do I think about that? Wielkopolska, where is that? That is within my realm, yes. It's here. Revolutionary idea. Uh, arrest him and burn his books. Here comes revolutionaries. Uh, yeah. Merge and attack. We should have help. Uh, he needs help here. Uh, why not? These are these are ordinary people. It's not that dangerous. But this this is the age of revolutions. Uh, mostly liberal revolutions, actually. So uh, Republican people, yeah, Republican thing, yeah, liberal burgers, Republicans, they don't want monarchies anymore. There we go. Ah, uh, ouch. Uh, yeah, come on, artillery. Uh, one of our most famous respected masons has approached Gustav III this morning, stating concern the monument, uh, monument in Dallas School. My dear Emperor, it breaks my heart, such a beautiful structure carelessly abandoned. Yeah, he has a point here. Oh, that's expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hire him and fix that project. We're taking a loan, that's so stupid. Missing 200. It's it's events such like those why you need money in your in your in your stash. So let's see. Can I repay this? No, I need at least 18 or 1900. Ugh. United in prayer. Gustav III, being a man of faith, has found an unusually personal way of creating trust and ensuring loyalty. When meeting another Protestant ruler in person, he will often ask them to pray together for their common goals. While perhaps forsaking some of the distance sometimes, neither in diplomacy it creates stronger bonds than any formal agreement. Yeah, I'm focusing a lot on Protestantism here. He's considering employing his method again. Upcoming visit for foreign capital, although... Yeah, souls, not only mine, must reunite, so... Bohemia, uh, because they're also Protestant, will like me a lot more because of this. Because Bohemia and I, we're uniting more in prayer for Protestantism, and that is something we need to do. So, <laughs> they like me a lot more now. Uh, oh shit, that, I guess it was this guy, right? I believe so. Yeah. How old is my king, by the way? Gustav III. I'm, I'm my emperor, I mean. He is 46 now, okay? We have a wife we married for love. A lowborn woman. Okay, um, how is the rebellion out here? Not that bad. We can repay this loan. Do that. New Emperor elected, Maximilian I of Austria. This is the HRE here. Great advisor died. It's so weak. The 
diplomatic reputation and three yes definitely how is my reputation 1.61 we have one diplomatic slot left over we can actually have one more ally without penalties France can name it. Giving enough time, I think uh, France will um, ally us again. Level up diplomacy, naval maintenance, yeah, do that. The Ottomans, are they fighting anybody? No. <laughs> A lot of rebellions in uh, Stolp here. Constantly as well. I'm so tempted to go against this German area here. Bohemia and Naples will join. But then again, we're closing in to the next attack on Poland. And that is something that needs to happen. France will fight again, but the Ottomans needs to join. Oh, advisor. Let's see, level 3, stability cost modifier. Yeah, it's going to be a 3. That's the way it's going to be. Last artillery cannon being produced. Demands for representation, ban publications, make vague promises of reform. A number of hostile publications have begun to circulate the cities of Scandinavia. Anonymous yet very critical authors claim that the, the government is autocratic. Yes, we are. <laughs> and demand both of written constitution and parliament for various parts of the country can be represented. So, so th this could be step two. Toward, steps towards democracy and stuff, parliamentarism. Uh, but we we are not ashamed of being autocratic here. We're an absolute monarchy and shut the fuck up. Ban the publications. The House of Lema, okay. With the Unarchies and Ulrike we gain not only spouse but also a new ally in the realm. Okay. I thought she was a lowborn. Okay, I thought she was a lowborn. Ah, we have a new emperor. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Christian the first. Another heir. He's a three six four. Carl. Interesting. Ah, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. So he married uh, a noblewoman. Now, so okay, I get it. The former one was a lowborn. Uh, so his stepmother, Christian's stepmother, is a lowborn. Royal marriage in Naples, absolutely. But um, we also need to celebrate. So it's a 464, that's, that's very good. 13, 11, 8, so we get even more monarch points now. Carolus Linnaeus. Lin, Lin, Linnaeus. Carolus Linnaeus. Swedish botanist Carolus Linnaeus is the father of modern taxonomy. The publications of his species Plantarum, Plantarum in 1753 marked the beginning of an age of classification and discovery. Linnaeus himself mostly arrived, uh, active in Sweden, Igli, Catalonia, and Flora, Northern Europe, but his students were dispatched all over the world. Da Daniel Solander even accompanied Captain James Cook on his famous first journey on the globe. 25 prestige, we max it out then. 4.5 innovativeness. Yeah, that's the reward you get for focusing on schools and education research. 
Not bad. So now we have all the artillery in place. Uh, uh, Bohemia Royal Marriage, yes. We need Royal Marriage with Bo. That was Bohemia, yes. Who else uh, are we friends with? Ottomans, but we cannot Royal Marry into the, the Islamic world. No, not possible. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. So, 38, 38. Okay, that means we need more infantry here then. Yep. So that means two more infantry where they are 38s. Only 36 here. Oh, okay. We need to check that out then. Uh, 40... He is thir 32 only? How did I miss that? 40... 36 only? What? Like that then. Holy shit. Let's see, we have 10, 6... There's only one cavalry here, okay. So that means... Yes, 38, but one less cavalry. Alright, yep, okay. <laughs> There, there's 36, so that means... That means two... Let's see... One, two, three, four infantry. Thirty-eight there, we are producing. Thirty-six. One, two, three, four infantry. And here we only have 32, so he is missing a lot. Let's go with uh, six artillery. Let's build them around. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have 38 over here. That means two infantry, yes. Now we have 436. So that means we cannot create one more army. Lack of demand for amber, okay. We need to earn some more money. We're earning 129 a month. Score-wise, we are fourth place in the world, but third place when it comes to great power. Oh, what is this? The Ottomans, they have placed themselves as an economic hegemon. Monthly work exhaustion, mercenary manpower, development cost modifier, wow. Yeah, they, they are trying to build up their nation to, to win the game that way. What we could do is actually to build more recruitment centers. Let's earn some more money and then do that. Then we should be able to have one more army. Okay, we can level up military. I want to do that. To be ahead. Non-enforcement of ordinances. Gain local autonomy. Increase attempts. Increase attempts. We want ordinances. We like artillery. 
I'm going the Napoleonic style now. We like artillery, like Napoleon. Oh shit. Cancel their drill, yes. Let's see how the training goes. Almost done. Infantry goes fast. But we still are missing here. Let's see. 12, six, yeah, we need two infantry here as well. Uh, so that me. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, wait until it's done. Yeah, they will be. maybe. done with that. Oh, the advisors are dying left and right. Discipline 5 or land maintenance? Uh, Discipline 5. Victor Heinrich. <laughs> He's actually a Catholic. The other advisors, they are they are Protestant. Let's see. Culture, Novgorodian. None of them are Swedish. <laughs> Coup de t coup d'etat and the enlightened despot. Gustav III, upon succeeding to the Swedish throne, beheld a nation being sucked down into maelstrom of chaos by the parallax and bickering of the hat and cap parties. Some th something has to be done and soon, or Sweden might share the same fate as poor unfortunate Poland. So rather than standing back and watching his nation being torn asunder by Skylla and Karyubis, the king took matters in his own hands and seized power through the bloodless coup d'etat. Thus began the Gustavian period of Swedish history. So the king shall rule, yes. Administrative efficiency goes up, maximum absolutism. Uh, no more tyrants. Uh, the king shall rule. That's the main thing with my campaign, that we should have a dictatorship through and through with an absolute monarchy as powerful as possible. Let's see, we're missing two infantry. I think it's over here then. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need... Yeah, we're gathering up manpower. It's closing in now to become a maximum here. But I, I want to go against Poland again. And this consolidation, consolidating thing I did here, it took a long time. Innovativeness, oh, minus. My, oh, yeah, we're sacrificing innovativeness for religion. But missionaries plus one is, is good. I want it. Protestantism is also very important. Now we have three missionaries. We can convert faster. 50% faster. We also need to end this episode, but I want to just fix everything with the troops here first. Here we go. Um, so 40 in everything now, except here. We're missing two here. So that will be two... Let's see here. That's 12, 10. Yeah, I want two artillery up here. Like this. So now we're using 440. We can use 448. Uh, uh, yeah, how much do the, the conscription centers cost? They cost 300 each. So, yeah. We will build those to have at least one more 40,000 army. But that will be in the next episode. And it's not crucial for that to make the next thing, our next move in combat. 
So I would like to see a, some options here, what we can do. We go against these guys. Go against Austria itself. Wow. The Ottomans will join that. But, the crazy th yeah, we don't need to give them anything. But the Ottomans will join the war against... Uh, let's see here. Aachen, Baden, the Palatinate, Thuringia, Ferrara, Genoa, Milan, Tuscany, Landshut. Uh, and the allies of Austria. Yeah, that's them. That's them. So that is very interesting because we are bordering Austria up here. And a direct war against the whole Roman Emperor, what's left of him, is pretty cool. We don't need to fight the French, only Germany and the Northern Italic States. Yeah, yeah. Will Cologne join? That's annoying because Cologne will not join. I want to punch through here. East Frisia will not join either, so yeah. We will mostly be blocked up here, that's not fun. So I don't think that's a choice. Austria, England as well, okay. But only Bohemia and Naples will join. If we fight Austria, this, yeah. We will see in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and uh, take care. Bye.